The other reason I speak about sex is because it has been confirmed by the word of God, by visions and common sense that uh, in the home where the immoral will spend eternity, a sexual immoral department is the largest of all when compared to the other department of hell. So when it comes to revelations that the people who have seen the visions of hell are saying the same thing, the sexual department is the largest. This is out of the research I've done in the many visions of hell that I've looked at and then when I look at the word of God it is also true that uh, the greatest uh, sweeping punishment that fell upon our world are uh, those related to sexual immorality. We're talking about Noah chapter 6 the destruction of Noah's world because of the angelic uh, uh, dimension that colluded with humans to make love that was not uh, sanctioned by heaven and then it brought up about the Nephilims or the aliens and later became the demons. And then when we look at men lasting after angels in chapter 19 of Genesis, there's an entire city that is destroyed because of what we call uh, strange or going after strange flesh and what we call sodomy. So we find also Israelites dying in large numbers and that becomes a warning lest we fornicate and die like those who fornicated and in one day 123,000 fell. So we find that uh, there's a consistency in the warnings that uh, uh, border what we call sexual immorality that it has got a great uh, impact uh, among uh, humanity and then uh, when it comes to common sense we confirm that uh, unlike the other scenes uh, it, it takes two to tango unlike the other scene where you sin alone and uh, uh, that's it in the uh, uh, department of the uh, sin of the flesh or sex for that matter it takes two to tango you have to consent you have to agree to sin against the law of God you have to agree to break the law of God it goes beyond the agreement of two and goes to an agreement of companies and uh, uh, parties. When it comes to parties, we have what we call orgies. We find that uh, uh, an entire uh, party of 10 or 12 or 20 or 50 people can agree to have what is called open sex or secret sex. And that is when parties agree to have sex. This is the only scene where people agree to have it as fun and they also package it and sell it in pornographic uh, movies or packages for that matter and others buy it and also they become partakers of the same so they end up either doing the same kind of parties or they end up masturbating in the privacy of their home homes we have companies that establish platforms of porn and these are companies multi-million dollar companies and they just spawned a multi-million dollar industry and many people people live off pornography so we're talking about a company that is able to employ sinners where sinners are gainfully employed in an industry that despises the law of God so there are other people who are not employed by companies but they decide to do it on their own these are the people we call prostitutes it could be male prostitute or female prostitute so what happens in the department of female and male prostitutes or well, they do uh, and they are living by selling the sins of the flesh so they become slaves of their own desires and their own financial ties 
we call ties that bind either soul ties or financial ties apart from the wrong relationships that people have where by even when they are married they still go to their exes to sin whereby even married people can also sin sexually there is also now the financial ties that bind people to the wrong persuasions of sinning sexually so that they can make a living out of a sexual uh, transaction or sucks so what happens that these sinners love their chains is the only department of evil that those who are bound those who are in prison they love their chains and they don't want deliverance but instead of they being heroes of faith they are actually heroes of sin we have people who even fund evil that's why lgbtq is highly funded they are as people who are uh, planning and preparing the way for the one world government and the rise of the beast or the rise of the man of sin by promoting lawlessness whereby the platforms are set and their main work is to dupe is to encourage is to inspire immorality around the world and one thing that you can be sure especially about the mark of the beast is that once it gets inside you it affects your dna it will affect your dna and one of the departments of your uh, dna that will be affected is the sexual morality code people will become sexually aggressive and they will go after strange flesh there will be more transsexuals more homosexuals and even those who are heterosexuals will completely go nuts they will want the sins of the flesh they can do sex anywhere in the street and this is what is coming escape the wrath to come by avoiding sexual immorality because it will land many 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 into hell you don't want to be part of this and that's why i stand a sentinel a sound an alarm i stand as a warning for a watchman must warn the people god bless you